Hey guys, so Apple has now made it official today releasing iOS 18.3.2. Now we've been waiting on the software update and it is now officially available. So if you have an iPhone running iOS 18, you can update today to 18.3.2. The download is going to be anywhere from 400 to 600 megabytes. So the update should happen rather quickly. Obviously in this video, we're going to go over what's new with the latest 18.3.2. Now Apple also released iPad OS 18.3.2 for the iPad, Mac OS 15.3.2 for the Mac, and Vision OS 2.3.2 for the Apple Vision Pro. So what's new with iOS 18.3.2? So according to Apple's release notes, iOS 18.3.2, this update provides important bug fixes. Now we know about currently four or five different bugs and issues within iOS 18.3.1, and I wanna go over those here quickly. I also wanna talk about a few things you should do right after you update your device. So with iOS 18.3.1, one I've encountered Wi-Fi issues so every time I leave the studio and come back my iPhone just doesn't reconnect to Wi-Fi so hopefully some of the bugs that Apple mentions here will be addressing some of the Wi-Fi issues we'll have to wait and see obviously I need to test the software over the next several days to actually provide you with some more feedback on that now we know about camera freezing issues the photo app freezing issues and some of you guys are also experiencing battery drain so hopefully these bug fixes that Apple mentions on their release notes will address those issues for iPhone users. Stay tuned here to the channel. Make sure to subscribe because in the next couple of days, I'll give you a follow-up explaining if Apple actually did fix some of these issues with the bug fixes that they mention on these release notes. Now, iOS 18.3.2 also contains security updates. So as we go into Apple's security page here about security content of iOS 18.3.2 and iPadOS 18.3.2, there's an important WebKit issue being addressed here. So I recommend everyone to update just because of this security patch that's being put in place here. This is very important. So I'll leave the information in the description down below. You can read it for yourself. So obviously important security updates available here as well. Now iOS 18.3.2 also addresses an issue that may prevent playback of some streaming content. So if you're having streaming issues with some of the content within the Apple TV app, then obviously this will address those issues for you guys as well. Now there's two things I always recommend you do right after you update your iPhone and this is always a must that I tell my new subscribers. Number one, make sure you update all your third-party applications. So head on over into the App Store, click on your account on the top right, right here, and then press and hold to refresh. And if there's any app updates, make sure you update all your applications as of today. Keep in mind that iOS 18.3.2 was just released and Apple is addressing some of those streaming content issues. So hopefully if you have any of your third-party applications having streaming content issue, that will also fix this for you. Now keep in mind that even if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled, you should always look into the App Store right after every single update. And at number two, if you were having Wi-Fi issues on your device, I would recommend you go into settings in general, scroll down, go under the transfers and resets right here, click on resets, and then reset your network settings. Now, this is only if you were having Wi-Fi issues. Keep in mind that once you reset your network settings, you're going to have to re-enter the password for your Wi-Fi. But this way, you'll know for sure if Apple has addressed those Wi-Fi issues that many iPhone users, including myself, have concerns with 18.3.1 and hopefully 18.3.2 should fix. And there you guys have it. Just a quick update. The software is now available as of today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.